With peace restored to the kingdom, Doug organized a grand tournament in Reggie's honor. As tradition decrees, a new king must prove his worth before all the realms. Rabbits of white whiskers had sent their most agile warrior. It would take more than a half and a skip to overcome the formidable gray horses. Reggie's iron will. Captain Blacktail, a treacherous pirate, notorious for his adventures across the three seas. Reggie wondered if he was as fearsome on land. put up a good fight, but Reggie thought the captain might be better off sticking to the ocean. vengeance, fully armed to the whiskers. He already lost one tournament, he was determined he would not lose another. of defeat at his younger brother's paws. Eivor was an old ally of King Rattus. Side by side, the pair had fought frog scum together many times. Would Reggie live up to his father? 
Eivor was here to find out. Reggie was presented with the King's Key. It's a good thing Doug had eventually found it, as Reggie had been sorely tempted to break the lock himself. But as they say, curiosity kills the rat. chamber smelled of fresh lilac and gooseberries, while the bed glistened with crisp silk sheets. Strangely, a slight breeze blew from behind the bookcase. <laughs> must have been the work of his father. Reggie wondered whether this was the source of all the undead in the crypts. Another of King Rattus' secrets, best kept hidden.
This would be a true challenge, unleashing wave upon wave of foes on Reggie. We hope he had the iron to go the distance. Exhausted, Reggie stood over his defeated foes. He had truly earned his status as a legend of Moletown. He wondered if he preferred glory to duty. Thank you. 